So chances are you just set up the items adder plugin and you added all this really cool stuff and then you try to join it on Bedrock Edition and you find out that absolutely none of it is working. What is up crafters? Today I'm going to be showing you how to convert custom model data for the Geyser MC plugin so Bedrock players can see custom items, custom armors, custom models, custom font images, and even hear custom music. That's like five times I said the word custom. Now, before we begin, there are a few things that you should know. For one, please make sure to go watch my items adder video before you watch this one, because today I'm going to be showing you how to convert all of that stuff that I made in that previous video. If you ask me for support, I'll probably ask you if you watch that video, because a good rule of thumb is if something isn't working for Java Edition, it probably won't work for Bedrock either. Secondly, some of the stuff we're going to be covering today can seem a little bit complex at times, so it'd be great if you have some background knowledge of how Bedrock resource packs work. But if you don't, then don't freak out because I will try my best to go into detail on everything. Also, you'll want to have a good code editor such as Visual Studio Code because we are going to be making a lot of JSON files. I sure can make a mean JSON file, but I can't make love in the bedroom. Anyways, that was uncalled for. But if you do need support, then feel free to pop into the Geyser MC Discord where you can get some really great support or you can pop into my discord as well now just a quick heads up i've really only known how to do this for about a month now so you may be on your own if there's something that i don't know how to help you with however i will link a bunch of helpful resources in the description below all right make sure to like and subscribe and let's get crafting okay so the first thing that we'll want to do to convert all of our items adder stuff to uh, geyser is we will want to use castles converter so to do this, we will need to actually get our Java resources so we can use IA zip and that will zip up all of our resource packs. We can head to our file manager, our plugins folder, items adder, output, and then we want to download this. And now what we want to do is upload this into Dropbox. And then we can copy the link to it. Control C to copy that. And then we'll want to go to this GitHub page. You will need to create a GitHub account for this. So make sure to do that quickly. So you want to go right here to where it says GitHub Actions and click on the pack conversion template. You can run this locally on your computer, but you need to download like a whole bunch of stuff and it's just really hard. It's easier just to run it straight through your browser. So we will just put a name for our pack. So I will say the date. So 2-8-2024. And then we want to paste that link from Dropbox here and change the zero to one. And then we will get back to the Bedrock merge pack later, but for now, we're not going to worry about that. And this stuff should be fine, but I will go ahead and set the rename model files to true. And then we have to agree to the code of conduct and submit new issue. So now we just have to wait for about three to five minutes and then it'll be all good to go. And I'll show you how to get it onto your server. Okay, there we go. It finished running a little bit faster than I thought it would. That's because I'm only using the tutorial files from my video last week on items adder. So we'll want to go down to the GitHub actions bot and it will say to go to the action run page. And then we want to scroll down to see pack files. Click on that and download it. Now we just need to unzip the file. So extract here. And there we go. We have target and config.json. Don't worry about that. So this geyser mappings.json, we will want to upload this inside of our geyser spigot custom underscore mappings folder. So there we go. And then we also want to go into our packs folder and then we can go inside of the package and then the geyser underscore resources MC pack. You'll want to put this in here. You don't even need to worry about the add on. OK, don't worry about this. You can you can even just delete it if you want to. You don't need that. So there we go. Now to make sure our custom items work, we'll need to install the geyser optional pack. This just adds some extra things that make it so custom resource packs can work. So we can just download it from this GitHub page. There we go. And then upload that inside of the packs folder as well. And let's double check that in your config.yml that you have the add non bedrock items right there. So make sure this is true. And now we are good to restart our server. And then I'll show you what worked and what didn't work on Bedrock. So now that our server has started up, we can go inside of Minecraft Bedrock and join our server. And then we will be prompted to download the resource pack. So I will go ahead and download and join. It's a very small resource pack because we don't have a lot. The more that you have in your resource pack, the longer it will take to load. 
So keep that in mind before you had like thousands of items. Okay, so we can see that a lot of it didn't work. So the sword, this should work just fine. We can go ahead and get that and it it's working. It, it's a sword, you know, it works. But then the music disc, it seems to work. But if we were to put this into a jukebox, then the sounds wouldn't play, which I will show you how to fix later. This piece of paper, if we grab it, we can see nothing's there, but once again, it's so big that it's like this. If you just make like a regular sword or something, it'll be fine. But we have this massive block, so we will set an icon for it really soon. And then the armor, if we were to grab, we'll just grab the boots. So here are the boots. We can't tell they're there because we need to tell it what icon to use for that. And now I have them on, but they're not even there because we have to set the layers as well. So we have a lot of stuff we have to do to make sure everything works. The converter can only do so much. You have to do some of it manually as well. So let's start off by making an icon for the giant block. What we we'll want to do is go to block bench and we can then grab our giant block dot Jason. And then there's the texture. If you don't see the texture, you can right click on here and then change the file and then get whatever texture you want. So what we'll need to do is we need to make a PNG image of this to use as an icon for this model. So to get a really clean icon, we can click on these three bars and click orthographic. And then we'll set our angle to any of these. Zoom out, that looks pretty nice. So we can use control P to screenshot it. And then we want to save it to our clipboard so we can downsize it. Then we want to head to photopia.com or if you have Photoshop or something, I prefer to use Photopia because it allows you to just paste it in without the background. You don't need to like save it to your computer. So we can create a project that is the size of 16 by 16 pixels, 32 by 32 pixels, or 64 by 64 pixels. So obviously the more pixels that are there, the cleaner the image will look, but it will also take up more file size. I found that 64 by 64 gives you great quality without using a ton of file size. So we can click on new project and we'll just go with 64 by 64 and then change the background to transparent. Click on create. And now we can just go ahead and paste our image in and then we want to scale it to here. If it pastes it in the background layer, just make sure you click this little lock. That way you can move it around then. But this looks pretty good. So I will go ahead and click on file, export as PNG, and we can call this whatever. I will call this giant block underscore icon, and then click save. So now it downloaded it. Now we want to create a new folder for our bedrock pack. So we can click on new folder, and we will call this bedrock pack. So now we want to copy our giant block icon, go to our bedrock pack and create a new folder for textures. And inside of that folder, we will want to create another folder and we will call it item underscore icons. You can call this whatever you want, but I just like to do this because it keeps it nice and organized. So inside of here, we will paste our giant block icon and now the fun part, setting up our sprites.json. Yay, nobody cares. So remember this path. So textures slash item underscore icons slash giant block underscore icon. So remember that, okay, keep that stored in your head. So we need to set up a bedrock resource pack for this to merge. So for a bedrock resource pack, we need a manifest.json. So we can head back into our target and then our packaged. And then we want to take our geyser underscore resources dot MC pack and change this to a zip file. Click yes. And then we can extract here or extract to geyser resources. I'll just go ahead and click extract here. And then we want to go and copy our manifest.json. Then back to here, back to here. Paste that right there. And now we need to set up our sprites.json. So I'll just create a new text document, call it sprites. And then instead of TXT, we'll change that to JSON. Yes. Now here's where Visual Studio Code comes in. So here's the basic file setup for this. We want to start with a curly bracket and then enter. 
And then inside of air quotes, we want to tell what the Minecraft vanilla item is. So what we can do is go back inside of Minecraft to get our custom model data and our item. We can do IA custom model data and then tutorial giant block. So there we go. It is a paper with custom model data 10077. So we can head back to Visual Studio Code, put paper right here, and then colon. And then we want to add some brackets like this, and then another curly bracket, and then the custom underscore model underscore data colon, and then our custom model data, which was 10077 and then a comma, and then the sprite for it, or the icon, is going to be the textures folder, the item underscore icons folder, and then the giant block underscore icon. We can put PNG here, but you don't have to. So we can click Control S to save our sprites.json. So this is all good for now. Okay, there we go. So now we have our manifest.json, our sprites.json, and our textures. So the manifest.json, this basically just tells Bedrock what to do with this pack. We don't really need to worry about that. I just wanted to make sure that you have one of these. Okay, so this is inside of our sprites.json, the textures folder, the items icon, then the giant block underscore icon is right there. Okay, now let's go ahead and set up armor while we're at it. So we can go back inside of our, the folder that has our geyser resources. So we can go ahead and inside of our attachables, here's all the attachables. We want the ones for tutorial boots, tutorial chest plate, tutorial helmets, and tutorial leggings. So we can copy these with all of their weird GMDL. And then we can head back to our bedrock pack and we want to create another folder called attachables. And then we can press enter and then paste these in here. And then if we open these up, everything's on one line. So now you're probably wondering like, what the heck is going on here? So this may be a little bit daunting at first, but don't worry, it'll make sense in a second. So you'll want to go inside of the tutorial files for this video and there will be the armor attachables. So we'll just go ahead and open all these up. And we will want to, for boots, we can go to boots and copy all of this, go here, paste this in. Now this probably isn't the best way to do it, but this works for me. So what we can do is take this, this custom model data right here, copy that. And where it says paste here, we can paste it right there. So now we need to tell it where the layer for the armor is, because if you remember back to the items adder video, you need an armor icon to actually show what it is. And then you need armor layers for when it's on a player's body. So we need to go inside of our items adder, inside of our contents, tutorials, resource packs, assets, tutorial, textures, armor, and we want to download these two. So inside of our bedrock pack, what we'll want to do is create a new folder called armor underscore layer or whatever you want to call it. And inside of here, we'll want to put our armor layers into here. The armor layer one, this is for the boots, chest plate and helmet. But armor layer two is for the leggings. I don't know why they're different like that, but it just is what it is. So. What we can do is go here and then textures slash armor layer and then change this. So armor underscore layer underscore one. And then we want to delete this first line right here because some JSON files are weird. They have everything on one line. I prefer to use this. So, you know, it's whatever suits you, but I feel like this is just a lot easier to read than having to scroll super far. So let's open up the chest plate, helmet and leggings. So we can go and grab the leggings file. We can copy this and then go to the leggings, paste it right here, and then copy the custom model data. And then we want to change this to armor underscore layer underscore two, because remember leggings are weird like that. We want to get rid of this top line right here and then control S to save. Then the helmet. So we can go to the helmet file copy all this and then paste it right here 
grab the custom model data, put that in right there, and then change this to armor underscore layer underscore one. And then delete the first line right here. Control S to save chest plate. So we can copy all of the stuff from the chest plate template, paste it in right here, copy the custom model data, paste it where it says paste here, go to change this and change it to armor underscore layer underscore one, and then delete the first line. Okay, so there we go. Now all the armor layers will be working, but remember the armor icons haven't been added yet. So to add them, what we can do is go back and we will want to download all these, or if you have them, then don't worry about downloading them. I'm just not organized, so I have to download them. So now we want to go back into our geyser bedrock pack and go inside of our textures, item icons, and then we can take all of these up, put them in here. I need to change this. So there we go. Now we want to go back to our sprites.json. And then we will want to, after this bracket, put a comma and then copy this and then get rid of this. And everything is used with leather armor. So leather underscore helmet. We we'll want to go back inside of Minecraft and ask it, what's well, custom model data of this? IA custom model data tutorial tutorial underscore helmet. So it is using a leather helmet with the custom model data 10004. So we'll want to head here, leather helmet and then the custom model data 10004, just like that. And then the items icon will just be helmet. So now we want to make another one of these for the chest plate. I don't know what happened there. So chest plate. And now we need to ask the game what the custom model data is for this. Chest plate. It is 10005. It might be different for you, so don't just copy what I'm doing. Make sure you go run your own commands because you might have a different custom model data for it. So items icon, we want to change this to chest plate. Oh, what the heck is going on there? Now we want to copy this again, then change this to leggings, and then ask the game what the custom model data is for the leggings. 10005. So if that's actually good, the custom model data doesn't need to change. Remember, execute your own commands. Don't just base it off what I'm doing because it's probably going to be different for you. And then change the item icons to leggings. And then copy this and put change this to boots. And then once more, Yo, items adder, what's the custom model data for the boots? 10005. 1005, change this to boots. And then make sure your file doesn't have any errors. So I have this last comma. The last one does not need a comma. So there we go, it's all good. So we can click Control S to save that. Okay, so now that our armor should be working once we run the converter again, let's go ahead and add sounds while we're at it. So you want to head back to your bedrock pack and create a new folder right here. Call it sounds exactly like this, not sound, not sounds with a Z. And inside of here, this is where you're going to want to upload your song.ogg or your sound file. So paste that in here. So now we need to create another JSON file and call it sound underscore definition. So sound underscore definitions dot json just like that and then inside this file we want to start it off with a curly bracket and then the format underscore version 1.140 there will be a template for this so you don't have to copy all this if you don't want to and then sound underscore 
definitions just like this and then the name of our sound. So now what you name this is very important. It won't work if you don't name it properly. So we will want to use our custom namespace. This is important. And then a colon. So tutorial was our custom namespace from last time. So like right here and then our sounds.json. So then our name of it was tutorial.song. So right here, tutorial.song. And then we need another one of these. Now we need to tell it the category of the sound. So is it like music or neutral or something like that? So we will go ahead and say category. And then we'll just make this music because it's a music disc. You can read more about all this on the Bedrock Wiki, which I'll link in the description. So then the sounds for it, the, the file to it. And then inside of brackets, we want to put sounds slash and then our file name so song and there we go we are all good now Whew, that was a lot so if we head back here we can see we have our sound Underscore. definitions and then our song.ogg so now we have our textures our sounds and our attachables so let's go ahead and run this through castles converter one more time so we'll just want to copy all of this Excluding the sprites.json, send it to a compressed zip folder. So you'll want your manifest.json, your textures, your sounds, and your attachables. So for our textures.zip, we will want to rename this to bedrock pack. And then we can put today's date, which is 2-8-2024. There we go. And now we'll want to upload this to Dropbox. Okay, so now that now that's uploaded. Now let's make sure that you have your protect file from unzip as false. Otherwise, this will cause issues with what we're going to do next. There we go. And now we want to IA reload and then IA zip it one more time. So we go to our file manager, plugins, items adder, output, then download this. And then inside of here, we want to put our sprites.json. There we go. Now with that pack, so we can go to right here. Want to upload this to Dropbox. And now we want to head back to Castles Converter. So conversion template. And we can call this whatever we want. So to 2024 so we can copy our java pack link and then we want to change this to this change that to a one and then we want to copy our bedrock pack link put that in the bedrock merge pack so this will merge the textures with it that so that way the sprites.json know where they're looking okay now we want to change this to true accept the code of conduct and submit new issue Okay, there we go. Our pack is all done. So we can go ahead and go back to the action run page. And you remember the steps, download your pack files. So now we want to extract this. And then inside of here, we have our target and then our package and then our geyser resources.mc pack. Now, before you just go ahead and upload this, let's go ahead and change it to a zip file. And then we can go ahead and extract that as well. So we can see our sounds folder is there and has our sound definitions and our song. And we have our attachables. But if we go inside of one of these, it's back to the one line thing. We want to replace the bad attachables with the good attachables. So we can copy this and then go back to here. And we want to paste this and replace the files so there we go so now right here it's back to being like this we'll want to go ahead and zip all this stuff up one more time and we can call this geyser underscore resources or whatever you like to call this it doesn't matter you can call it whatever you want change it to a mc pack because this is what we're actually going to upload 
to our geyser spigot packs folder so we'll want to replace the old one so upload this and then don't forget the custom mappings so the geyser mappings right there and now we'll want to restart our server okay now our server's back up so we can head in minecraft bedrock again and we'll want to go into our settings and then we'll want to go to our storage and then the cached data so we'll want to get rid of all this stuff because sometimes this will screw things up so just delete that and then we're good to go so we can join our server again and now our resource packs a little bit bigger this time so we can just download and join that there we go so our giant block has a icon an icon now and now let's see if those armors have icons so our armors even do have icons. So our boots. And we can see our boots are on. Let's get their other stuff. So leggings work, chest plate works, and helmet works. Phew, I'm glad that stuff works. I don't have to go re-record that. And now let's test our music disc. Okay, so we can play our music disc. What and is it Crafters? works, My so name is that's Crafters. always I good. Make Minecraft plugin and free hosting tutorials and yes, on the this internet, song so again. Obviously. Okay, so there's one more thing that we haven't covered yet, which is font images. So if we were to go ahead and type crafted like this from last time, it just gives us one of these glyphs. So we need to use another converter to convert that. You can convert it manually, but it is a pain to do that like it, it it would be horrible you don't want to do that okay so now to convert font you will want to go to this github link it will be in the description this is basically the same thing as castles converter but this one has a few more features including font conversions which is what we want so what you'll want to do just like the other one you'll want to grab the link for your java pack paste it in right here change the zero to one and then go back here get your bedrock pack copy that paste it here change the zero to one and now we want to scroll down to rename model files i always like to keep this as true and then font conversion let's set that to true because i mean that's what we want right we want our fonts so this has armor conversion but it is a little bit buggy so it's best to do it manually and yeah i think everything should be good so now we can go ahead and click this and then submit new issue now we have to wait just a little bit longer. Okay, so there we go, it is closed. So now, once again, we just go down here, action run page, basically the same thing, and then download your pack files. Here we go, so once again, extract these. Then we want to go into here, target, packaged, and then name the MC pack to zip. And then we want to extract this as well. And then inside of here, we can see we now have the font folder. So inside of here, there's this glyph E2 and this has our crafted tag. So this should work. Now remember that we need to put our armor attachables in here. So we want to go into here, our attachables, copy all of these attachables, and then paste them in here with replacing. So then we want to take all this, send it to a zip folder, name it to whatever we want. And then change it to an MC pack. And then we want to head to our server. And then inside the packs folder, upload this. There we go. And then we want to go into the custom mappings and then upload the geyser mappings. And then restart our server. And then we also want to refresh our packs and our cache data. There we go. And we go ahead and join the server when it starts up. Okay, there we go, it started up. So now we can go ahead and join that and then download. Okay, so we can see this is still working. This stuff's work still. And we can then type crafted and look at that, it works. So that is how you convert font. Just think about it, we converted armor, we converted items, we converted sounds, we converted models. So 
Now you can go tell your friends that you know how to convert all that stuff thanks to Crafted Croyd. Thank you guys for watching. I know this was really long, but I've been wanting to make a video on this topic for a while now, and not too many people have been brave enough to cover this yet. I hope that you were able to learn something from this video. If not, then I'm sorry, I guess. Anyways, next week we'll be covering how to grow your Minecraft server. So if that sounds interesting to you, then make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that. Speaking of Minecraft servers, you can go check out my two Minecraft servers which people say are the best two Minecraft servers that have ever existed, or at least that's what I call them. Okay, I'm going to go cry in the corner now, but until next time, I will see you on the other side. Happy crafting. They're cruel, evil, they're just mean to each other, they go on the street, push everybody out, they, they love money, they love guns, and all sorts of stuff.